The more traffic you get to your website doesn't mean the more sales you're gonna generate. You're going after the wrong keywords, the wrong traffic right now. Even if they're in your industry and you think you're targeting the right ones, I bet they're the wrong ones. Hey everyone, I'm Neil Patel, and today I'm gonna to share with you a simple hack to finding the right keywords to rank number one on Google for. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel. That way when I release more tips like this, you'll get notified. Question for you. As your traffic goes up, are you noticing that your revenue is staying flat or you're not getting any sales altogether? If you're noticing that, leave a comment with yes. If you're not, leave a comment with no. The reason I say this is I myself went through that same issue. I got my sites up to hundreds and thousands of visitors. My current site, neilpatel.com, gets over 3 million visits a month. Just think about that, 3 plus million visits a month. And if you're not getting the right kind of traffic, doesn't matter if you take it from three and go to six or 10, doesn't mean you're gonna get more sales. And I learned that the hard way, but eventually I learned how to fix it. So let's go over the simple hack to getting you the right keywords to rank on Google for. Step one, go to Uber Suggest. When you go to Uber Suggest, you'll notice that yeah, you can type in keywords and do keyword research, but you can also put in a URL and get data on all the traffic that anyone in the space is getting. What keywords your competition's ranking for, how much cost per click are they paying for these keywords. So put in a competitor URL. The ones that you know are making money. If you don't know, do searches in your space for other competitors and you'll see which ones are spending money on ads and are bigger than you have a lot of employees. They tend to do well. Step two. On that page, you're gonna see an overview, a traffic overview of your competition's traffic. How many visitors are getting from that region, whether it's the United States or Australia or India, and you're gonna see their top pages. Click on top pages. Step three, under top pages, you're gonna see all the top performing pages that are driving most of their traffic. Just because a page is driving them their traffic doesn't mean it's driving them their sales. Look at all their most popular pages and click view all under the estimated visits column. That'll show you the keywords that are driving the traffic. Look for the keywords that are driving traffic, have a high cost per click, ideally in the dollar plus range. So dollar, two dollars, five, ten dollars, all great numbers. The moment they're like five cents, not really good keywords. But anything that's over a dollar, has volume is their most popular pages, right? Because Uber suggests is sorting it by popularity. And then you wanna look at SEO difficulty. The lower the number, ideally under 50, the better off you are. This will all tell you the keywords you should be going after. The keywords that have the most traffic, that have the highest cost per click, and the least difficulty are the ones that you can get results from the fastest and tend to convert into paying customers. See, because if someone's willing to spend a lot of money on a keyword and it drives volume, you know that keyword is driving them revenue as well. Next, what I want you to do is take that keyword because you found one and Google for it. Look at all the pages that rank in the top 10, click on their site, look at that content that's ranking. Read it, understand it. Now, next step, I want you to write a more thorough version, more detailed, more thorough, poke holes in their content, analyze it, answer everything that they're not. It's not just about laying, it's about being thorough. And so good that everyone's like, oh my God, this is the best thing out there since sliced bread. They're gonna wanna share it, talk about it, link to it. That's the type of content you create, wanna create. Then last but not least, because just because you create the content doesn't mean that you're gonna get the rankings and the traffic. So you need to follow this step so that way you can go in a full circle and you can get the rankings. Anytime you link out to someone, hit them up. Ask them to share your content. You can be like, hey John, I love your content. So much so I linked out to your site. You can check it out here. If you like my content, feel free and share it on your favorite social network. Cheers, Neil. By doing that, you're gonna get more traction. And as you get all this traction, you will start getting better rankings. And as you get more rankings, you'll start generating sales because you're getting the right kind of traffic. And if you wanna see who links to your competition, check out the backlinks tool on neilpatel.com, neilpatel.com slash backlinks. You can put in a competitor URL or anyone's URL. You can see everyone who links to them and you can hit up each of those sites and ask them to link to your article. 
If you follow those tactics, you're gonna rank for the right keywords, generate the right kind of traffic, and generate more sales. If you need help with your SEO and your online marketing, you can always check out my ad agency, Neil Patel Digital. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'll answer it.